Hey, everybody. This is your host, Lakita Long, on our very, I think, first, maybe, official, sort of non-official, Faith Focus Friday. And I just am so glad to be coming to uh, each and every last one of you. Um, gosh, there is uh, so much uh, to do, so much to be done. Um, there is, uh, there is, I just want to make sure you got everything. Um, and I'm so glad everybody's joining on. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So give me one second. So... I am ecstatic. I'm ecstatic that you guys are joining on. I'm getting so excited um, because it's all coming together. I'm getting a whole little team. Well, I've gotten a little team, uh, a little production team, and I'm going to get a chance to talk to my uh, Brown Sugar Magic marketing brand strategist uh, after I do this live uh, show. But I wanted to just... Um, come to you for a couple of things. I wanted to share the whole vision. So for those of you that chime in on my Mental Mondays, Mental Mondays is a program of the Lakita Long Show. Um, and uh, Faith Focus Friday is also a program of the Lakita Long Show. So eventually you guys will get a chance to see the snippets of my entire week long show for my Lakita Long Show that I am prepping for to have syndicated on TV. So I want to thank you so much for joining my Faith Focus Friday. Um, Faith Focus Fridays is not new. I actually have a blog talk radio a show that was dedicated for two years. And I have about 70 different broadcasts uh, that were powerful. They were only 15 minutes. People chimed in during their commute time. And I realized that the audience was there. Um, but I wanted to take it a little bit further and uh, be able to... Um, um, you know, um, come live. And so we're here. So let me just kind of give some shout outs before we get started on our Faith Focus Friday. Hey, my Dave Miller. So good to see you as usual. Sabine, my sister, I'm so glad you've joined us. My sister, Pastor Paula Clark, thank you so much for joining. Um, and for those of you who else are out there, please let me know that you are joining us as well. Um, I am ecstatic. <laughs> I can't tell you all the other things that are happening. But I think that today's um, Faith Focus Friday is going to be a real, real blessing to America, to the whole entire world. So um, for our topic, I'll give a few more moments for folks to sort of join. Um, Marquette, um, blessings to you. I see that you're on and you're watching and we are so super excited. Um, and thank you guys for your love. I'm telling you. Um, what I have to share, and I'm not going to cry because I did all this, uh, you know, makeup in my studio, which is my office right now. But soon I will have my own studio. Um, I'm so excited uh, because my uh, call and purpose in life um, that God gave me to do um, is to make biblical principles a household name. And so when I was filling out a Coca-Cola scholarship when I was 15 and a half years old, um, one of the, one of the questions was, what do you want to do with your life? And, um, and I was getting ready to write down my answer. And at that time I was wanting to be a corporate attorney. I still am an advocate for law and all that kind of stuff. But, um, before I put my pen to the paper for the, um, for the scholarship in which I was a semifinalist and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, um, the Holy Spirit, um, really spoke to me like very, very audibly and said, what is it that you really want from me? And I think it was only one other time that I felt like I felt the Lord like really speak to me. Um, and um, so I paused. I was 15 years old and I paused. And I said, I would love to have the wisdom, the energy and the inspiration to um, help people to see who you are. And um, the response was great. Because I want you to make biblical principles a household name. And this is how you're going to do it. You're going to merge biblical principles, psychological concepts. And you're going to change the way that people see life. And I'm going to fill you up with my spirit. And the rest is history. So for 27 years, I've been doing just that in the marketplace. Had to take some time off. You know, life happens. Uh, divorce. All of that. Two children. And um, now we're back. And uh, because of the faithful visitors um, that are watching me. 
um, you guys um, have created an audience. And I look at each one of you like a thousand people. So when I have 130 that are on, I see um, 130,000. So thank each and every last one of you for joining Mental Mondays and now on Faith Focus Fridays. I promise to bring you good information that's not rehearsed, that's going to bless your life, your ministry, your business, um, your family, um, and that will take you from here to there um, in all other aspects of your life. I believe that I'm called to speak into the lives of people across the country, whether you believe in God or you don't. I used to be a Christian atheist, very hardcore atheist, and we'll talk about that on one of the Faith Focus Friday shows. So I get it that um, having faith when you, you know, have brains and all that kind of stuff. I studied Freud and studied all the different philosophers and things of that nature. But I came to find out through an experience in an encounter with God Almighty that there is no refuting him as God. And he's not just God to be uh, a person to provide something for you, but he is a God to guide you to himself. And so um, I stand on it. I believe it. I believe in the increase over my life. I believe in the increase over your life. And so we are here together. Um, so Minister Jamon Williams, I want to give a shout out to you. Thank you so much for joining. Laura Jackson, I want to give a shout out to you. Thank you for joining. Tara Stooges Owens, I give a shout out to you. And now we are going to get started with our Faith Focus Friday live show. I'm so excited. So. For those who do not know, my name is Lakita Long, and I'm known to many as the people's therapist, as well as the marketplace evangelist. I get the wonderful opportunity to merge my love and passion of education, empowerment, inspiration, business, and spiritual things um, together, and to make sense of those things um, for other people in the world system. Um, I love the fact that I come from a variety of different backgrounds in terms of education wise, but I really love the fact that I believe that I'm just called by God to just do this and really, really help people, um, whether they are down and out. And there are many, many people who are up and out, meaning they have everything on the natural level, houses, cars, money, wealth, um, in, um, influence, but they don't have some of the other things, people skills, spiritual balance, moral, um, capacity to expand and to grow. And I, uh, believe that I'm called to help that process um, out. So we are here um, together um, once again, and welcome to Faith Focused Friday. Um, Faith Focused Friday is an, a, a deliberate attempt to get the world, America, um, to see their life um, just a little bit different. And um, while being able to do that, um, we have to first get ourselves focused on that which is good and that which is right. So Faith Focus Fridays will come deliberately biblical. It will come fun. It will be family oriented and it will be very, very, very focused. Um, I'm excited that um, I'm not, I'm sure, the only person in the world that has this kind of focus. I'm just focusing on my charge, my assignment, my purpose, and my call. And all of you are helping me to absolutely be able to do that. So I sincerely thank you for that. All right, so my little lesson plan for today, for Faith Focus Fridays, is something I pray will be a blessing. Um, my spiritual name... Um, is Abraham. Um, I've got this incredible, and I'm I am talking the way I'm talking because I want to break down and cry, because this is not just me being live. Um, I feel like myself, like on the stage. I feel myself like on the stage in front of millions of people around the world, and it is unbelievable. Um, to say the least, to even think, like, who has the audacity to believe that they should be on somebody's TV screen? But I just believe in my soul that there are some things that um, I can share with people that will cause them not to want to jump the bridge or to break a marriage or to um, kill a person or to do something um, atrocious. Um, and so we're here. And I want to use my faith and my energy and my love for you, people all over the world, 
to see your life different. Um, so today I want to talk about when faith works. Um, the Bible is very, very clear about how we have faith, what it looks like and how we move and how we operate and how we do all the things that we do. And so, um, one of the things that I want us to, to consider is Hebrews 11 and one. And the scripture says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the very evidence of things not even seen. You haven't seen it, but you hope for it. Therefore, your faith activates you to go out and get it. Um, the fact that I can even proclaim that I can see myself on stage in front of millions of people on TV with my own talk show is an act of faith. And so when you and I or your children get up in the morning, we have already exercised that we have faith in our lives. The fact that we are laying in our beds says that we have faith that the beds will hold us up. The fact that we swing around and put our feet on the ground says that we have faith that something throughout the night kept the earth moving and my world system moving and the community in which I live in, you know, stable, that I can place my feet on the ground and have the ability to stand. So we're all using faith every single day of our lives. But the power of using it is not just at an autonomic kind of way, an autonomic responsive way. It's being able to activate what you know has been given to you by God to do something extraordinarily outside of the realm of where you are currently. That to me is faith. For a little Long Beach girl, the sixth girl of seven children, um, in a kind of impoverished mindset, um, living in a two bedroom, one bath house, three bedroom, one bath house, where there's nine people, drugs, drug addicts, drug dealers, all coming throughout the house. And God decided that I would, through all of the things that this little girl would have going on in her life, hating herself, um, not believing she's pretty, believing she's ugly, marking on her skin, having body image issues, um, literally believing that the world and everything in it was against her, would even have the audacity to believe that she can be loved, that she's lovable. You're looking at her. Um, I didn't realize who I was until God came in my life. So faith for me is very personal. It's very um, protected. Faith for me is very right now. It's a God moment. Um, it, it will never be religion. It will always be a relationship because I know him. And if Jesus himself came to me and said, sorry, um, we, it doesn't exist. I don't exist. I will tell him too late. I already believe that you do. So my faith says so, so it is so. So I just wanted to give you a little history that this is not someone that's just talking off the cuff. I am an ordained minister. Many people don't know that. I've been in ministry for more than 27 years. Um, I've helped people plant churches, Bible studies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm a worship leader. Um, currently on assignment right now at another church. Um, and I love seeing the lives of people in the world impacted by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And there is nothing else um, that could take away the finality um, of what that book that I'm pointing to that's over there has done for my life. Um, it is not a crutch. It doesn't make me superior, but it does give me insight that other things just don't. When I pray, I believe God. I operate in the spirit of get to it. I don't always meet the mark in my life as a Christian. It's not everything is perfect. Um, it shouldn't be. And that's what not, this, is, this is not what Faith Focus Fridays is about. Faith Focus Fridays is just designed to allow the spirit of God in me to touch the spirit that's in you, to see yourself bigger, better, and to get your family focused on faith and fun and to live your life in a way that you could only imagine that you could have. I know you may be living a good life now, but there's something powerful about living a great life with the king who is greater than great. And so I bring to you this Faith Focus Friday, believing that your whole world is going to change, not by my words, because my words are not that great, but by the spirit of the living God 
that lives on the inside. He said, he that believe first, first come to me because God, he is the reward of them that will believe in him. I believe in God and I've seen the proof of what believing in God has done for my life. Even though I just needed him to just save me. There was a point in time in my life, even as a child, I realized I needed someone to come rescue me. So I found my way at the little Baptist church at the street from my house, St. John Baptist Church. And I walked there about eight houses down the street. And I came in four or five years old. And I was enticed to stay because of the warm donuts and the cold milk. And it kept me. And the deacon, his name was Deacon Bennett. And him and his wife, she was the deaconess, they embraced me. And the Sunday school teachers were there. And the pastor, which is Ralph J. Mosby at the time, he's now deceased, Dr. Ralph J. Mosby. And they became my family. And I came to Sunday school every Sunday. And I also realized something else, because I had been reading since I'd been three years old, that I liked the Bible study stories. I didn't quite get all that I saw, but I liked it. It challenged me. And I kept coming because I like to sing and it gave me opportunities to sing. Um, I like to do a lot of things. And so church became the place where I sort of found myself. I still didn't quite believe. I doubted a lot. Um, I challenged God a lot. And so I was probably up to the age of 12 or 13 where I was a Christian atheist. And we'll talk more about that. And uh, then God really, really let me have an encounter with him. Uh, from the ages of 11 and a half to about 15, I really got to know that everything in this world system, everything that we have, it's all because of God. How you doing, my brother Edward? So good for you to join us. And Pastor Eric, God bless you. And so when you think about faith in Hebrews 11 and 1, don't think about it merely about what you need. Think about what you have already possessed what you've already done, utilizing the faith that God gives you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, that God gives each and every last one of us a measure of faith that we can believe and act upon. But faith without works is completely dead. Everything that you or I want, it is going to be because we have willed ourselves to believe that we could have it and or do it. I'm going to give you a story example of something that happened just recently. I drove home to L.A. Uh, from the Bay Area for Thanksgiving, a day before Thanksgiving. While driving there, and my kids were in the back and they were asleep, uh, it was an impression, I believe, from the Holy Spirit that said, give this some someone um, a huge amount of money. I'll say it's a lot of money. Um, it was more than... I'll just say it, give this person $500. And I thought to myself, ooh, when I get paid, and I was thinking, $500, oh my God. And God said, give that person $500, take them to lunch, put the money in the envelope, and give it to them, and be done with it. And so I committed in my spirit, I said, when I get paid, I will do that. I committed in my spirit to do that. And... um I drove, got to my sister's house and um, had little funds, um, but I was going home to family. So to me, you don't need money when you're going home to family. That's how my family is. So, um, cause they understand I'm coming from the bounce back and I was so heavily in debt and da, 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 da. So I get there and the next day someone inboxes me and says, Hey, um, send me an invoice for $200. I want to just be a blessing to your life. And I'm like shocked in tears and I'm thinking, oh my God. Okay. So I do that. The very next day after that, someone inboxed me and said, please send me an inbox. I mean, an invoice um, for $500. I cried. I totally lost it. I totally lost it. And I was thinking, okay, well, $500. And Holy Spirit says that $500 is for you. It's for you because you committed to giving the $500 to the other person. So I just want to show you what I can show you. So I'm like in total tears. I do it and the money comes, etc. And I'm just like wigging out. And I go on about my business. And uh, fast forward to December the 4th, 
two days after my birthday. I'm in church and they ask for us to give uh, the pastor's birthday celebration and the ministry had a uh, 15 years anniversary. And I love to give to the household of God because the, the household of faith, the church, the people in the church has blessed my life. So I don't have any schisms and I'm not giving necessarily to an individual per se. I'm giving to the work that I can actually phys physically and visibly see. So I didn't have uh, cash on me and I didn't have the card that has any money on it. I didn't have it with me. So they asked for $50. I took an envelope from the church and wrote down $50, put my name out and said, I will bring it back when I come back next week. Cause this is the church that I'm on assignment. I got to my car after that church service on December the 4th, got in my car, bing. And I got an inbox and the person said, can you please send me another invoice for $500 to be a blessing? I totally lost it. So then the, the money was in my account immediately, but I didn't have the card that goes to that account. And I'm only sharing this because I have gone through a lot. Um, Full-time ministry, told God I would do it. Um, but when you come from a place of, and I'm going to cry, of working hard, always being able to find a job, get a job, have a job. Um, I've got books and things and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when God doesn't allow a job to open up for you for all the years, literally, um, you have to keep living though. So building up my business, trying to, but I kept hearing God say, just really, really focus on the ministry work that I've called you to do. But my pride sometimes would just not let me stop. And, um, but then I did, I stopped. And then God opened up a door for me to go back into the college part-time, um, at his spe specific timing, but also to show me the power and the level of faith. I wrote down 50, so then God gave me 10 times that. Um, prime example, two days ago or last night, I'm cleaning out my room and I come and I find an offering envelope from another church from two months ago that I wrote out $42.10 that I wanted to give. I didn't uh, have the card or, I, oh, I was just one of the speakers, main speakers, so I couldn't, I didn't give. And I like left right afterwards and I looked at it and something jumped up in my spirit and says, you put it on paper, even though they didn't know, but you said you would give it. So get your card and give it. So I got my card and I was proceeding to go ahead and do it and give it. And one minute from my belief at ministry, $42.10. Um, and I don't know why it was that increment. Um, somebody inboxed me and says, Hey, did you get my invoice for a hundred dollars? I wanted to do it. And I didn't get that. I didn't get that. So I was going to get the 42 and I gave the 42 right away. And somebody blessed me with a hundred dollars because there are a lot of expenses for the things that I want to do for the kingdom and for the world. And I'm only saying this because it is, there we go. Okay. So, um, so where I was at. So the last little part that I would just say um, is this. It's not for me about the money or the increments. It was in, and this is the part that God wants me to share with all of you. It is in the intentionality of your desire to want to do something. And so um, I simply wanted to give $50 and then God blessed with $500 within 20 minutes. I simply wanted to pay the $42.10 and God bless me with a hundred dollars. Um, I have work to do before I go into the grave, just like you do. And I want to use everything that God has given me inside of my being to be my best self. And in order to do that, I've got to put it all on the line, all of it on the line. And so this is the season to give all. As we get ready to close for this Faith Focus Friday, give your all to the things that are wholesome, to the things that are God. Because what's God, it is good. And what's good can become great. The power of God and the word of God is self-sufficient. And it doesn't need anything else or anyone else. But I'm so grateful that it allows me 
the opportunity to be my best self. I encourage each and every last one of you to never settle. Um, one day I'll tell like my full story and you won't probably believe all that I've been through. But I encourage you, never ever give up. Faith Focus Fridays is about God and you being bigger than where you've been. I've gone through the gamut. I've had people talk about me um, that I should have certain things because of where I've been and what they've known I've done or the money that I've had. But I had to go back and read in this book, this Bible book. I had to go back and I had to look from Genesis to Revelations that the greatest of the greatest of those that God called there were times they just didn't have everything going for them. So I had to lock in to the will and the word of God for my life. And when I see thousands of people impacted by little old me, I'm in awe. Whether I was impoverished, no money, barely trying to figure out how my bills were going to be paid. I trust that trouble doesn't last always. I trust that things do really work. For the good. Because you're looking at a Christian atheist, redeemed Christian atheist. Used to be Christian atheist. But now I'm bona fide believe God's word and work for my life. And I encourage you. I encourage you today. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the very evidence of things that cannot even be seen, cannot even be imagined, but yet you believe in it. And I trust today by the power of the Almighty in your home, from my heart, from God's word, that whatsoever you commit to God, the Bible says in Proverbs 16 and 3, commit thy works to the Lord. And thy very words will be established. As a matter of fact, I just want to get it. The actual scripture. And I know it's it, but I like to actually pull it up for us. Because I believe we've got too much going on out there where people are saying a lot of things. And the scripture says in Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit to the Lord whatever it is you're going to do and he will establish your plans. That's the New English international version but the king james version um says that we should commit thy works unto the lord and your very thoughts should be established so the last two weeks i committed to giving someone five hundred dollars and then got two $500 within an eight day period of time. I committed to giving $50. So I committed to doing the $42. So what I'm saying, I committed to trusting God. I prayed about something concerning even where I'm at. Cause I want to get tenured, um, at my job and I'm part-time, um, faculty, um, at the college and came in today and where I was going to be teaching only two classes in the semester. They gave me four. Uh, and I could scream. Because when all you have is God's word, I don't care how cute you are, I don't care how educated you are, but when all you have is a promise about what God said he would do, if you would do X, Y, and Z, it humbles you and it takes you to another place. There are some hookups that some people can never give you. There are some things and connections that people can't do that only God himself can do. So I want you to be encouraged on this Faith Focus Friday to look to God Love man, but look to God and love yourself enough to put everything you can 
in what you say you want. So, I'm giving it all so that I can be able to sign on the dotted line next year for some TV show, the Lakita Long Show. Somebody's going to pick it up. Somebody's going to pick up the Lakita Long Show. And I'm saying it right now. And it's going to be a hit. And it's going to be out of this world. And I thank you for helping me to do that. I love you so much. And God bless you on this Faith Focus Friday. I pray that it has been a blessing to each and every last one of you. Love you. And God immensely bless you tremendously. Let me just say a prayer with all of you on this Faith Focus Friday, since it is Faith Focus Friday. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I intentionally do not close my eyes while I'm praying. And I pray for each person that is looking at this broadcast, this television show, that I believe that you're going to allow to be all over the world. Someone needs to have faith. Someone needs to get focused. And they need it right now on this Friday. And I pray by the power of the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, the only name I have known that can save a man or a woman from their sins and from their soul damnations. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that their lives would be better, their minds would be clear, and their spirit man would be full. Will you bless them and keep them every day in Jesus' name? Amen and amen. I love you so, so much. Faith Focus Fridays requires you to do Hebrew 11 and 1, and it also requires you to do some action. Love you much. God bless.